Here are some instructions to help you with your Project Adopt a Country travel journal or travel itinerary. The first thing you should do is open a Google Doc. So go into Drive and create a document and give it a name. So in this case we're using Guatemala as the example. So I'm calling it Guatemala Travel Itinerary. As you do your research, go ahead and use this doc to collect it. So I'm just going to paste in um, from here. So let's say this is um, the travel document. So hypothetically, this will be your end product. So what you want to do is you want to get your itinerary ready. You want to have your um, information about each place and a link to it as well as uh, an image to describe the area. So that's stage one, your written piece. Stage two is to create a simple Google map of each of your sites. So we're going to start out, um, we'll use the Tikal National Park in Guatemala. So I'm just going to do control C and copy. And I'm going to go into maps now. So I'm going to open a new thing, maps.google.com. So when you go to maps.google.com and you're logged in, just go ahead and click on My Places and then choose Create Map. So I'm going to call this uh, Guatemala Travel Tour. Here are, and you can describe it, top 10 places to visit in Guatemala. You should have a more thoughtful description and leave it public. So now that you have your um, map created, click on Save. And now I'm ready to go and find my first location. So let's go ahead and look for that national park. And you can just type it in the search field and you can see that it's here. So I go ahead and click on that. Save to map. And I'm going to save it to Guatemala Travel Tour. So I click on save. Now you can go ahead and do this for each of your sites. So you might want to just quickly collect them at first. So I want to look for the lake now. So control C. I go back to my I'm going to do control V. And there's the lake. And I'm going to save to map. So I can go over here, I can look here, click on save to map, Guatemala travel tour, save. Now if I go up to my places and I click on Guatemala Travel Tour, you can see I've got, oh, I have, I have a duplicate here. So I can go ahead and delete that just so I don't have two. But when I click on here for the National Park, I now have the option to change the icon. So for this icon, um, let's say I just choose one of the thumbtacks. This is where I can put the description in. So I can go back now to here and I can take my description and I can do control C and now I can go back to the map and I can control V it in. I can also put in an image. I just click on rich text editor and I choose insert image and then I can enter the URL of the image. So let's say I'm going to go to I'm going to search for an image. And let's say this is the image that I was going to choose. I can go ahead and right click on that image and choose copy image location or if you're using Google Chrome is copy image URL. I'm going to go ahead back to the map Oops. and I'm going to paste that in and click OK. So now I have an image and I have my description of the site. I can go ahead and uh, click OK. So you can see I have that here. Now if I go to the lake, I can change the icon to the water. So 
So here's water. And put my description in here and click OK. So that's how you create your map. And when you're done, you just click on Save. Go back to My Places. Once your map is complete, and you're ready to share it, you just click on the link here at the top. You can get a link to the map, but you get your embed code here as well. So we're going to embed this in your portfolio. You need to make sure that your, pre your map is set in a preview mode that includes all your places. Then you click on link, and then you choose, um, you copy this control C to copy and paste the embed code into your site. And then what you're want going to want to do is go back to your uh, site Okay, so once you get to your site and you're in edit mode, what I would do, it depends, you can do it any way you want, but if you want to take advantage of your layout tools, I'm going to make a two column here. I'm going to paste my embed code into one side and put my travel itinerary in the other side. So on the right side, I'm going to put my map. So I'm going to click on HTML, and then I'm just going to paste, control V, paste that HTML code in there and click on update. So my Google Maps here, hopefully. And then on the left side here, I'm going to take my entire itinerary. And my work cited. And I'm going to control C. And then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to control V. I'm going to paste it in. So now on one side, I'll have just the written text and the pictures, and on the other side I'll have the map. So I click on Save, and let's hope that everything came out okay. Yep, it did. Okay, so here, if I zoom in now, I have my water, I have my other things, so you're going to have more than that. And then I have the option here to click and view the Guatemala travel tour on a bigger map. Now how great is that? Now when the viewer goes and looks at it, and they click on here, they're going to see your image and everything you wrote about it. And that's all there is to it.